All right, guys, if anything crazier than what happened in the last episode happens today, I'm walking out this room and we are done with this show, man, because I can't take it anymore. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Breaker of chains like Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Never break Yeah, and it's a damn also, shame. Also, we, only the good die young, everybody. Good. We God. were like opposite of everybody. We didn't cheer apparently. So. <laughs> yeah, man. So funny. apparently, we didn't cheer when Joffrey died. And most of it's because, like, I knew when Joffrey died, there was gonna be so much anxiety, like in general, like because not only do you have to wonder who did that, then like the realm just goes crazy. And to me, that was just stressful, and it gave me anxiety. And also Cersei, because like, you know, I have I have a son. So yeah. like, when when, it's, when it Joffrey hurts. gets on the screen though, because so many people were wondering like, why in the world am I rooting for Joffrey, right? It's not that I root for Joffrey, like I hope he dies a horrible death as he as he did. It's just the fact that like him on the screen is just like first class entertainment. Right. Lord. Kinda like Ramsey. I like that dude. No, he's annoying. I just like him because he's so evil. You love to hate him. No, I hate him because he, he's so mean at the on. As long as he don't start whining. I mean I'll be whining too, so it's all good. Whenever we hit y'all's favorite episode though, can y'all like comment? Like, this is my favorite episode. Yo, man, I asked you guys, sorry, we're going to get into the zone in a minute, guys. This is our chance to talk right here. So, but I asked you guys, man, I said, yo, how many times have y'all seen this uh, series front to back? So many people answered that, which is sick. But then someone offered up that their favorite uh, moment in the series was when the hound was talking about the chickens. Mm -hmm. So let me know, what is your favorite scene? And if it's something that we haven't discovered yet, at least tell me what it is up to this point. Yeah. Oh. Right where we put. Oh, you here it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that the idiot? Where's his wife? Where's Sansa? I oh knew God. she was gonna. Father Gates of the city sees every ship in the harbor. That looks bad on her part either way, you know? No one leaves the capital! Oof. This guy crazy. Like, oh my god, I didn't even have time. Where's he taking her? This show is about to clear my dang are they in, Are they in Fleet Bottom? <laughs> <laughs> my mother was born in Fleet Bottom. <laughs> Can I get a bowl of brown on my way out? <laughs> get in. Where are we going? Somewhere safe. Poor girl, like, who do you trust? I, I, I gotta get on this boat. They're gonna eat me alive here. You gotta trust this dude to get you out of there? Yeah, you do. He offered the family jewels. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what are you talking about? He offered that necklace. Yeah. And it really was that. Dang, he rode to the foggiest place ever, didn't he? Fog the bottom. <laughs> Go, my lady. Whose boat is this? So did he orchestrate that? I don't know. You know. Watch it be damn little finger. Don't he have a boat? <gasps> he does. Oh my god, you're smart. Oh it is him. Ew. Well, I'd be so disappointed. Well, I'd jump off the boat. God, I'm sure you've had quite a fright. Rest easy. The worst is past. So did he do it? Ten thousand? Was it? Ten thousand. Pay up, pay up. Ten thousand what? No! <gasps> Wait. No, bro. Oh my god. Why? A thousand gold cloaks are searching for you. And if they found you, how do you think they would punish the girl who murdered the king? I didn't murder anyone. I know. I know. But you must admit it looks suspicious. The king right. executed your father who tormented you for years. And you fled the scene of his murder. Why did you kill him? Because he was a drunk and a fool, and I don't trust drunk fools. Mm. I, he saved me. I can see, saved though. you, my lady. He followed my orders. Money buys a man's silence for a time. A bolt in the heart buys it forever. Oh, wow. I mean, it's true, though. He like, was helping me because I saved his there's life. There's nothing new there. Yes, and he gave you a priceless necklace that once belonged to his grandmother. The last legacy of House Hollard. Oh... So it's fate. It made a few weeks ago. What did I once tell you about the capital? They lying. We're all liars here. Come, my lady. I know you've had a difficult day, but you're safe now. Tough lesson, ain't it? I promise you that. Wow. So did he do it? Little, basically, Littlefinger kidnapped her and then pinned a murder on her. The worst possible murder, the king. So he's basically got her prisoner, but he's got her prisoner with like the worst type of leverage. So good God. What a mess. Clawing at his own throat, looking to his mother to make it stop. It's horrible. The world is overflowing with horrible things. But they're all a tray of cakes next to death. They brought me your grandfather's body when he died, you know. Made me look at it. 
What was it like? Great doughy lump I'd sat next to at endless <laughs> dinners and tedious gatherings. There he was, lying on a table. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happy as torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. I must be cursed. No, Sounds no. like it. <laughs> Circumstances have improved markedly. You may not have enjoyed watching him die, but you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him. I can promise you that. But I would have been the queen. Our alliance with the Lannisters. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. The next one should be easier. She didn't poison him, did she? I don't know. That was kind of weird, right? That was a weird exchange. <sighs> Yeah, but that girl just wants to be, oh my god, King tutted his ass in there. dead. You know what that means. Your turn, old boy. Oh, or is it going to be I'm him? I'm trying to trick you. It means I'll become king. Yes, you will become king. What kind of king do you think you'll be? A good king? Oh. <laughs> I think so as well. <laughs> You've got the right temperament for it. But what makes a good king? Great hmm? place for the speech, right? What is a good king? For this little lesson. Important quality? This is hardly the place all the time. Right. Holiness. Baelor the Blessed was holy. He ended up fasting himself into an early grave because food was of this world and this world was sinful. Justice. Yeah, good king must be just. Oris the First was just. <laughs> Everyone applauded his reforms, but he wasn't just for long. He was murdered in his sleep after less than a year by his own brother. Was that truly just of him to abandon his subjects to an evil that he was too gullible to recognize? No. No. What about strength? Yes. King Robert was strong. He's so he young, right? And he's going to have to be king. the Targaryen dynasty. And he attended three small council meetings in 17 years. We have a man who starves himself to death, a man who lets his own brother murder him, and a man who thinks that winning and ruling are the same thing. What do they all lack? Wisdom. Yes. <laughs> wisdom is what makes a good king. And you're too so young. It is wisdom. Hmm? Experience? Hand it over. A wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't. A wise young king listens to his counselors and heeds their advice until he comes of age. So basically he said, listen to me. <laughs> Your brother was not a wise king. Your brother was not a good king. If he had been, perhaps he'd still be alive. Now, as the king, you will have to marry. Do you understand why? <laughs> Straight to politics, huh? Joffrey didn't even like have one moment. <laughs> well, he's been dead to Taiwan for a minute since he was yelling at him in public forward. in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. How are you? I'm all right. You are. You will be. I'll see to that. I hope he does a good job. I have, like, confidence in him. I'm so nervous now. Yes, all of you. Cersei's gonna end up snapping. Especially on Jamie. This is a sad moment, because that's their kid. It was Tyrion. He killed him. He told me he would. The day will come when you think you are safe and happy. And the ashes in her mouth. Remember when he said that? Mm -hmm. Ashes in your mouth. Oh my gosh, he did say that, didn't he? That is suspicious. That's what he said to me. You saw it. You saw Joff point at him just I before don't he know what I saw. Fend him. Fend your son. Kill Tyrion. Whoa, he can't do that. No, that's my brother. my brother. Our brother. There'll be a trial. We'll get to the truth of what happened. Don't want to try. He'll squirm his way to freedom, given the chance. <laughs> I want him dead. I have to. He was our son. Our baby boy. But see, Jamie's not going to do it because he's starting to get woken up to the fact that, like, you know what I'm saying? That she's really just using him in a way. I don't even know what to think about this right now. Oh, the manipulation. She's manipulating him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She don't like him. She she's thinks he's gross and unsee. You're a hateful woman. Why have the gods made me love a hateful woman? Oh, this is so like creepy. Oh, he's about to pull that nerve out. No. Come on his hand. I need a little time to process what I just saw. I'll speak on that later. What in the world? Where are we? Near yeah, fair market, I think. You don't have a map? No, I don't have a map. Maybe we should get one. I just point out the next map shop you see and I'll buy you one. <laughs> How far is it to the Erie? Far. I want you there as soon as I can. Yeah. Get my gold. Be on my way. way. On your way where? Why do you care? Was she eating radishes? Yeah, just crush it on some radishes like a rabbit. Why does a self sword? Second sons could be. Seems like a good fit for me. You're better than that hound. My bravos. That's Dario's thing. I have friends there. <gasps> what? Doubt it. Several <laughs> blessings to you. Mm-mm. What do you want? 
What do I want? This is my land. If I'm standing on it, it's my land. We were just watering the horses. We'll be on our way. Forgive my father. He was wounded fighting in the war. Mm -hmm. Our cottage burned down while he was gone, and my mother with it. Good job, He's never Arya. Been the same. Which house did he fight for? Mm. The Tully's of River Run. There's a storm coming. You'll be wanting a roof tonight. There's fresh Smart. air in the barn. And Sally here makes rabbit stew just like her mom used to do. We don't have much, but any man that bled for House Tully is welcome to it. So loyal. She's How smart. does Settle would just be on we your way? The father to judge us with mercy. We ask the mother to bless our crops. They're we so hungry. The to protect the keeper from the clutches of the He's the little seven on the farm. <laughs> father. <laughs> we ask the smith to strengthen our hands and up. We ask the stranger not to kill us in our beds tonight for no damn reason at all. Jeez, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh, as she does it. <laughs> Why is he like her dad, Loki? <laughs> right. Yeah, that dynamic sort of just crept up, didn't it? Look, they look the same. Like they. <laughs> really good. Did you fight at the twins? Call that a fight? Watering livestock more like. Red wedding, they're calling it. No. Brother Frey committed sacrilege that day. He shared bread and salt with the Starks. He offered them guest right. Guest right don't mean much anymore. It means something to me. So he's down, but not really. Frey will burn in the seventh hell for what he did. Things were different when Hostetali ruled the Riverlands. Well, we had good years and bad years, same as anyone, but we were safe. Now, with the phrase, raiders come plundering, steal our food, steal our silver. I was going to send Sally north to stay with my brother, but the north's no better. You got any ale? Oh. Afraid not. He don't give a damn. He just wants a drink. I know. <laughs> he's over there confessing his life. Like He said, talk about wine and dying, boys. You looked like you could really swing that sword. A real warrior. Those raiders wouldn't stand a chance against you. And if any thieves came looking for easy pickings, one look at you, I bet they'd run the other way. There you go, be a cell sword. Meaning no offense. I, I feel like he's about to be mean. What do you pay? I don't have much, but I have hidden a bit of silver from the bandits. Fair wages for fair work? He's gonna kill him and take the silver, Rainy. No. Fair wages for fair work. No, character development. Oh no, not him and the chickens. Uh-oh. Bro, you can't trust the hound. I thought man. he said he wasn't a thief. What did you do? You told me you weren't a thief. I wasn't. He took us in. Aye, he took us in. He's a good man. His daughter makes a nice stew. And they'll both be dead come winter. You don't know that. I do know it. He can't protect himself. They'll both be dead come winter. Dead men don't need silver. You're the worst shit in the seven kingdoms. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty worse than me. I just understand the way things are. How many stars they got to be ahead before you figure it out? Oh, that wow. scene was just so good. Like, the acting in that was just as good as you'll ever see. They, just the banter between those two is amazing. I love it. There he is, Sam the Slayer. Going to visit your wildling whore? Oh, they're jealous. No? Maybe I'll give her a copper tonight and find out. Oh, yeah, I forgot, guys. That guy that Tyrion said to the wall when I was editing, I noticed that was him talking junk to John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janos or whatever. Killing the White Walker. You're not lying. I'll never forget the way it screamed. Aww. But you're the only one that saw it. And they all think you're just a... A what? Well, a, a wildling. <laughs> My father hated that word. It's not a very nice word, I suppose. Makes me sound a bit dangerous, doesn't it? When they're, too, when they're together, I'm always smiling. I don't know why. Because they're just so, so like... Because there's know. hope for the future. Anyone, yeah. No one bothering you? I get a lot of look. I hear them making their jokes, but no one's touched me, if that's what you mean. I worry about it sometimes, all the time. Why do you worry about it? 100 men, one woman. They've got other things to think God, about. That's the only thing they think about. There's 100 men lying awake at night picturing you. And what about you? <laughs> I worry about you. <laughs> Thank you. For what? <laughs> For worrying about me. I don't know if you're safe here. Maybe. You'd be safer in Molestown. Are you bored of me? This is your opportunity. I want to protect you. That's pretty good. I'll get these to Hob. Keep an eye on Little Sam. <laughs> little Sam. I think he's kind of right, though. Yeah, 300%. I wouldn't have you up there with 100 dudes. <laughs> You're wildin'. I'd send you back to Flea Bottom. <laughs> why would I be at Flea Bottom to begin with? <laughs> you know why. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Though. Grace? You're a literary man now. What do you make of that? <laughs> Joffrey, the usurper, Joffrey Baratheon. I said those words when I tossed a leech into the fire. <laughs> a leech filled with bastard blood. 
a bastard you set free. That is crazy, and though, man. To a note. Okay, but he already powerless did it. To take advantage of we'll it. find you an army of grace. I've been working day and night. What progress have you made? I've rallied House Peasbury to your cause. Peasbury. <laughs> What's that British football team called? The Silly Nannies. The Silly Nannies. That's what it sounds like he recruited a bunch of imbeciles. Westeros <laughs> is not the world, Your Grace. We need to look east for ships and men. 10,000 skilled soldiers fight for the Golden Company. The Golden Company? They've never broken a contract. They're cell swords. We're willing to use blood magic to put you on the throne, but we're not willing to pay men to fight. The Red Woman's magic is real. Her visions and prophecies may be too, but I've never heard of visions and prophecies winning a war. Soldiers win wars. Soldiers on the ground. It's dirty on the ground. We don't have any gold. If I do not press my claim, my claim will be forgotten. I will not become a page in someone else's history book. Okay, Stan. No, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm running out of time, Sir Davos, which means you're running out of time. So when he lost on the Blackwater, that really like destroyed faith in his cause. For well, no. Whenever she started dropping them leeches, he was like, "I'm back in it, boys." Right. You won't be a very good hand if you see the word knight and say "curd niggas." That happened once. <laughs> weeks ago. That, you're your father's daughter, and no mistake. Bloody relentless, both of you. It's a new one today. Lots of tricky words. But I think you can manage. <laughs> She's getting a little harsh on him. You'll never read well if you move your lips. That's how children do it. The life and adventures of Elio Grivas, first sword of Bravos. Thank I mean, you very much. as hard as it gets, right? Thank you very I much. Like it's, <laughs> it's full of sword fights and pirates. You were a pirate once. No, oh, I was never a pirate. I was a smuggler. If you're a famous smuggler, you're not doing it right. <laughs> 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 Well good. said. <laughs> You've sailed to Bravos. Of course. I almost got beheaded by a first sword of Bravos. I tried to explain to him the difference between pirates and smugglers. <laughs> he didn't seem any more interested in the distinction than your father. I suppose if you work for the Iron Bank of Bravos, and each one of your gold barges is worth half a kingdom, you tend not to be overly concerned with the kind of distinction. Ooh, he just had an epiphany. Isn't that where... Littlefinger get, got the money for King's Landing was the Iron Bank that he just said? Mm. Yeah, yeah it was. It was, because Tyrion saw it in the ledger. Message. You should write it yourself. It's good practice. It's too important for me. I need a smart person to do it. Go on. To the officers of the Iron Bank of Bravos, from Stannis Baratheon, the one true king of Westeros. But that's not you. I need to get their attention. Oh, so he's doing it in Stannis' name? Asking for like a loan or something? Maybe. Seems like he'd have to run that by Stannis though. Right, Stannis might not like that. He might have to <laughs> run it by Stannisandra. <laughs> I don't know if that's a better place for her. Precious little thing. Thank you. Uh, what's his name? Sam. Oh, lovely. Ooh. Uh, daddy? No. Where's the daddy? He's dead. Where are you from? North of here. North of here? There ain't nothing north of here. This has the wall, right? You're fucking rolling. Uh oh. Only room and board. That's right. She'll clean and cook and look after the other girl's baby. Find other work for her, too. No other work. There'd be money. Give you a piece of it. Sam the pimp. Oh, so that's like a Rothel. That's the one that the Night's Watch goes to. Dude, if that's if that's not a... Yeah, gross, bro. Flea Bottom is worse than that? No, the Night's Watch, they go to the one in... Uh, what's it called? Like, Mole Rat or something? Right, but when I picture it, the slimiest slime, I think of Flea Bottom. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my mama worse. You'll be safer here. Who's going to protect you at Castle Black? Me? You protected me north of the wall. They're brothers of the Night's Watch, and I can't just stab them in the back, and I can't run away, which is what we did at Craster's. You have to trust me. It's for the best. Best for you. Please don't. He really doesn't have much of a choice, though, does he? Right. They'll take his head if he leaves, and she can't stay there with a hundred dudes. Prince Oberyn. Lord Tywin. How many people were in there? Would you like to sit? No, thank you. No, thank you. There you go. At all. Some we wine. think the same. No. I wouldn't even want to be in that room. I'm sorry about your grandson. I am. I don't believe that a child is responsible for the sins of his father or his grandfather. Are you interrogating me, Lord Tywin? Some believe the king choked. The king was poisoned. I hear you studied poisons at the Citadel. I did. This is why I know. Your hatred for my family is rather well known. You arrive at the capital an expert in poisoning. Some days later, my grandson dies of poisoning. Pretty sus as well. Suspicious. Right, but it's just too clean, though. Right. Kitchen. You spoke with Tyrion in this very brothel on the day that you arrived. What did you discuss? You think we conspired together? What did you discuss? Mm -hmm. The death of my sister. For which you blame me. 
Right. I was raped and murdered by the mountain. The mountain follows your orders. Of course I blame you. Here I stand, unarmed, unguarded. Should I be concerned? You are unarmed and unguarded because you know me better than that. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. If I cut your throat today, I will be drawn and quartered tomorrow. Men at war commit all kinds of crimes without their superior's knowledge. So you deny involvement in Elias' murder? Categorically. Whatever you say, Tywin. We'll go take it up with the mountain then. I'd like to speak with the mountain. Here we go. There you go. I'm sure he would enjoy speaking with you. He might not enjoy it as much as he thinks he would. I could arrange for this meeting. But you want something in return. There will be a trial for my son. Three judges will render a verdict. I will preside. Mace Tyrell will serve as the second judge. I would like you to be the third. Why? Not long ago, the Tyrells sided with Renly Baratheon declared themselves enemies of the throne. Now they are our strongest allies. You made the Tyrell girl a queen. Asking me to judge at your son's trial isn't quite as tempting. I would also invite you to sit on the small council. Dang. So oh. One of the new king's principal advisors. A lot of respect. So he's trying to get the Dorn army, basically, basically right? Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Political. I never realized you had such respect for Dorn. Lord Tywin. We are not the Seven Kingdoms until Dawn returns to the fold. The king is dead. The Greyjoys are in open rebellion. A wildling army marches on the wall. And in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. News to him, huh? Before oh. long, she will turn her eyes to Westeros. Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. You're saying you need us. How do they do that? That must be hard for you to admit. We need each other. You help me serve justice to the king's assassins, and I will help you serve justice to Elias. But he thinks that's you. Aww. Apologies for the stench. I brought you some wine, my lord, but they took it from me. <laughs> Noble effort. <laughs> I didn't find the candles, though. Quill, some parchment. You're a good lad. Any word of shame? I've heard nothing, my lord. What are they saying about me out there? You're to stand trial in a fortnight for murdering the king. Do you believe I murdered Joffrey? No, my lord. You didn't. No. Gods, no. The world is a better place without him, but I had nothing to do with it. I would like to think, if I were arranging a royal assassination, I'd plan it in such a way that I wouldn't be standing there gawking like a fool when the king died. Trial in a fortnight. What is a fortnight? I just no, thought a minute after a hundred deaths. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Cool. It's one of those questions I've always sort of wondered, though. Mace, I think I think about that every time we play Fortnite. Mm -hmm. You will vote exactly as my father tells him to vote. Prince Oberon of Dawn. Give it to my father. Never fails to take advantage of a family tragedy. I'm supposed to get a list of names from you, my lord. Anyone who might testify on your behalf. Oh, I can call my own witnesses. How generous of them. Very well, my wife, Sansa. She's gone. Gone. No one's seen her since the wedding. Just blame it on her. <laughs> we know this jacked up, but she ain't there. <laughs> no one had more cause to kill Joffrey than Sansa. But the girl's no assassin. Whoever killed the king wanted me to lose my head for it. And with my wife's disappearance, it makes me seem that much more guilty. Oh, shoot, yeah. Yes, thank you, Finger Daddy. Yes, my lord. Who will? I don't know. They, they, the ominous they. <laughs> the man pulling the strings, or woman, my father. Maybe Joffrey was too much work for him. Sweet Tommen would be so much easier to handle. Yeah, Ooh, maybe. I, I didn't even, even think about that. that. Yeah. Next to me, I assume it's my sister that had a hand in it. Say well, obviously, I don't think Cersei. Littlefinger did it, right? You already know. discovered that. No, we don't know. Well, he was in on it. Which right, he was somehow involved, I think. King's Landing murders. Cassandra. Yeah, that was that would have been too coincidental. Mm -hmm. Varys could vouch for me if he dared. He's already been called as a witness for the Queen. Of course. Fetch Bronn. I have a job for him. I've already asked, my lord. They won't let him see you. Why not? They say he's a known cutthroat and your close associate. He's under investigation himself. My brother, uh -oh. they at least allow me to see Jamie. I'll ask my lord. What a good squire. So he's basically the lawyer? <laughs> Padre, <Yeah. laughs> the squire. What is it? There's something else, my lord. Oh no, what else? A man, I didn't know his face. He came to ask if I'd testify against you. Said I'd be named Sir Podrick Payne if I told the judges you'd bought a poison called the Strangler. Sir Podrick Payne? Says Sir Illyn. A nice ring to it. But Sir Illyn can't talk. I didn't tell them anything, my lord. Are you going to accept their offer? My lord. Testifying against me wasn't a suggestion. They can't tempt you with honey. They'll choose something less sweet. You've been good to me, my lord. Pod. The trial's in a fortnight. I want an answer before that. I already gave them an answer, my lord. I will not have you dying on my behalf. If I have to take that long walk to the executioner's block, I don't want to see your head already mounted. My lord. Pod, I am giving you an order. Go and find my brother and tell him I need him. And get yourself out of King's Landing before it's too late. Plus oh. three for Tyrion. This is farewell. Oh, man. Farewell. Everyone who could testify for him has to go. He has never lived a more loyal squire. 
I just love that, what he just said to him, though. Absolutely. You know, man, I was thinking, like, the North, like, the White Walker, or the, you know, the Whites and stuff were going to come down, but really, the Lannisters might be brought down internally because of an internal strife. Crazy. I still have no idea who did Look it. Look at this place. Mother says it's time to eat. No one boils a potato better than your mum. She got... Oh, my gosh! Diamond! That was like the Shire. I mean, I hate to say it, but I kind of hope that her hair gets cut off too. Oh, my God. So they teamed up with the things. You know how to get to Castle Black? <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh my God. I'm going to eat them. Do you hear me? I'm going to eat your dead mama. Go tell the crows at Castle Black. That job was crazy, bro. What in the world? They're gonna have to tell this little guy. This we little guy's gonna have to go. About the three dozen bodies with slit throats tossed off the top of the wall. They want to draw us out and pick us off a few at a time. We have just over a hundred men. John said a thousand. Can't afford to lose a single man. We must remember our first responsibility. We are the watchers on the wall. You're a champion of the common people, Lord Snow. What do you say to Brother Pip's proposition? Yeah, what do you say, John? Once Raider is coming. If the wildlings breach the wall, they'll roll over everything and everyone for a thousand miles before they reach an army that can stop them. We need to defend the wall. That is our job. Man, that's tough, man. They're so undermanned. I know. Well, what's that horn? That was one. Rangers returning. <laughs> Thought you'd have a couple of eyes by now. Oh my god, they are friends. If you so long, we were held up. By what? Kids. <gasps> we were guests. Of the mutineers are Crusters keep. And the mutineers stay. They're not going anywhere. We've got Crusters food and his wives. Oh no. Poor girls. Carl's running things now. He's the one put a knife through Crusters' mouth. We need to ride north and kill them all. We just went over this, boy. Justice can wait. It's not about justice. I told the wildlings we had over a thousand men at Castle Black alone. Oh. <laughs> Carl and the others know the truth as well as we do. How long do you think they'll keep that information to themselves when the wildlings are peeling their fingernails off? Yeah, facts. Man says all he needs to That's a common theme in this one. Mm -hmm. When they shot the uh, drunk guy in the beginning. Mm -hmm. he gets his hands on them, he will. Then he'll throw his full strength at us. And even if every one of us kills a hundred wildlings, there's still not a thing we can do to stop them. Wow, that is true. I don't think I can kill a hundred wildlings. <laughs> That sucks. Okay, where are we going? Is that the the one that's on the beginning marine? I guess so. This place is the coolest place we've seen so far. That's the greatest city that ever was or ever will be. She's about to free another city. Are they attacking? A single rider, a champion of marine. They want you to send your own champion against them. Who's it gonna be, Grey Worm? Hmm, or the other guy. Well, it's either Grey Worm or... Dario. Right. Or Jora. He's too old. Same or Selmy. That's what I was thinking. They're kind of like She's Zach. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't believe he means to. You're rude. <laughs> he says that we're an army of men without man parts. Ignore him, Your Grace. These are meaningless words. Not meaningless if half the city you intend to take is listening to them. Yeah, that is true right there. This propaganda. I have something to say to the people of Marine. Do I have a champion? There you go. I believe him too. I've won more single combats than any man alive. Which is why you must remain by my side. <laughs> I've been by your side longer than any of them, Khaleesi. You're my most trusted advisor, my most valued general, and my dearest friend. I will not gamble with your life. <laughs> Whoever gets to go is going to be like, well, damn. I <laughs> know. General, a member of your Queen's Guard, or the commander of your unsullied. My mother was a whore. I come from nothing. Yeah, you can Before go. Long, I've to <laughs> yeah, we don't, we're not sure about you. Get recasted. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> we have quite an audience. Make it worth their while. If I was her, I would have said it just so I could get a compliment. Right. Because <laughs> she was just shooting off compliment. Win or lose. Yeah, they gotta prove something real quick. Sure, you don't want a horse? I would want a horse. Horses are faster than men. Horses are dumber than men. This dude's about to die, isn't he? He's way too many advisors around Khaleesi. If he does, like, what a pointless, like... Because she's been on a roll. She's hot right now. She needs yeah. some adversity. Not since her dragons got stolen. Where's that man's sickle? Get that thing out. Oh, he winked. He's good. He's gonna win. The assurance weak. That guy's just jousting at him full force. What the heck? He's literally chilling. Oh, he's got to throw it. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. Let's go. Uh, well, duh. Like, of course you do that, right? Easy. Watch 
Arrows? They're gonna just shoot arrows at him like that? There's too much. At least much. he might not like all that though. <laughs> There's bro. like too much urine going on in this battle. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. This isn't like a drug test. I like her little speech. I'm surprised they're still letting her speak. She's like trying to get him to turn, I guess. Bro, y'all better start running. She's about to just start slinging bombs at everybody, ain't she? Whoa. Catapults. What the heck? Those are bombs? What is it? Oh. Handcuffs. Bro, it's like a chain. So some propaganda. Are they broken? Yeah. That's all their chains that they had? Right. Oh, she's throwing them what they what could be. He's like, don't get any ideas there, son. <laughs> that's it? Damn, that went by fast. I know. Bro. Let's go. Wow, guys. So that was the breaker of chains. What a crazy episode. Man, we ended with Khaleesi. She was throwing those things into the city. Mm -hmm. And the chains were, you know, exploding out. And people were seeing chains. And they were seeing opportunity. And that was just really like, crazy. I guess man. they were kind of showing statement. that she wasn't lying by by giving the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's one thing to hear someone. It's another thing to see someone take such an aggressive action, like by blasting catapults into the city. That was basically in itself. Like you could see that as an act of war, even right. though they weren't bombs. And so she was saying, like, not only am I preaching it, like we're really about it. And I'm giving you the opportunity It's right here is right now. And by doing something so drastic, by sending you these chains, I'm showing you that I really am for real. So crazy, dude. Every time that woman gets on the screen, it's something epic going right. on. So she's, she's um, just very like, um, I, she's diplomatic and like, I can explain she's it. She's very sure of her cause. Right. Like yeah. she went from someone who's very shy in the beginning to someone who like almost seems like she's reading a script and she's definitely playing a role. I've said yeah, it lots like of when times. When she was the, complimenting all her counsel, it was literally like you would like see a politician do. I don't know if it's her name or if it's her lineage or her blood or if it's just a, just a natural ability, but she is very talented. Mm -hmm. Very She's talented at what she does. Um, man, lots of themes to go over in this one. So very beginning, you see that the village idiot, the guy who was getting all that wine shoved down his throat by the great Joffrey, the great Joffrey Baratheon. Um, R.I.P. Um, homie. He came in. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He came in and or not. <laughs> he kidnapped Sansa, gave her to Littlefinger. Like I said in the episode, Littlefinger essentially kidnapped Sansa. And, you know, Littlefinger does nothing without there being some big grand plan behind it. So I'm interested to see exactly why he done that. Yeah. I have my theories, but we'll get into that at the end of the episode. But basically, man comes in and basically puts her in an even worse situation. Now she's prisoner, but she's prisoner like in a way that she can before in King's Landing, she was a prisoner, but if she could escape King's Landing, she could live her life as long as she, you know, as long as she left in a way that wasn't like the way that she left now. But now she can never even show her face because right. there's going to be a bounty on her head, especially mm -hmm. if King's Landing unites the seven kingdoms. A lot of cool things in that one, man. Crazy episode. What yeah. are we missing, babe? Um, we also apparently Tyrion's going to have a trial with no witnesses because all of his witnesses, like Sansa, he said, they all have to leave. is gone. Yeah. And he sent Podrick off because he believes that if Podrick gets involved in this anyway, it's going to be his life. Basically, Podrick yeah. doesn't deserve that. Podrick's just been, you know, just loyal to the end, basically. And this yeah. might be the end. We'll see that scene with Jamie and Cersei um, was uncomfortable. To yeah, say what was the up least. with that? Um, How do you interpret that, baby? I thought that was uncomfortable because like. You know, our son had just died. Like the, I'm saying it from their perspective. Right. Our son had just died and uh, kind of came off a little rapey that scene. Dude, it really did. But at the same time, like I couldn't tell. Man, I might even get flat for saying this because y'all are gonna be hating on me. But dude, in a way, like obviously she didn't want to do that, but some weird part almost seemed like she was into it. Right. Like she was saying, like, I don't, 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 don't know, and you know, no. But then like no. there was some parts of her but body was language. Like, yeah, that her was body language it. was saying opposite. So that's why, like I say rapey because it was rapey it, bro it, like, that's just the vibe was true. and the it was just the wrong place in the wrong time for such an act and i, I don't really know what to think about well, i'm that, trying to guys. understand like so jamie's just desperate jamie's jamie's at the point where like he's probably oh and, and dude I, I you know you guys know how i feel about jamie bro like you know um so in no way i'm am not defending jamie i'm just trying to psychoanalyze so i guess the dude's vulnerable and he feels like i've been gone forever mm -hmm. and i've been thinking about you and now he's feeling really insecure because he's lost his hand and basically his identity. Right. And so he's like almost like in a sense, like 
so distraught that Cersei's not paying him the time of day that he's almost like trying to basically rape you. He's trying to like force himself to be remembered. Like kind of get some like maybe it feels like he's kind of trying to gain some manhood back or something. Right. Like just by like being kind of an aggressive approach. But also you could see it was either Cersei either kind of giving in or maybe her being I I took it right off like real time that it was manipulative because she at first was like no but then she had just told him right before that to kill Tyrion and he was like well that's our brother yeah, that's what I was so thinking. like so it's like yeah that whole yeah that scene was just kind of weird to me bro uh I was just sort of planning on staying off of it right you know what I'm saying? but I mean I like I know you want I'm to past trying to understand it, yeah. them bro like I don't I don't even care what they got going on they're just some brother sister right. tapping action so then so. right after that within that within all of that. Uh, Tywin's teaching the little one, Thomas, Tommen. Something like that. Thomas or Tommen. I think it's Tommen because I don't think it's Thomas. Which is weird because, you know, I don't really see him being king. I think that, like, my my, my theory is something's going to happen. They're probably about to just kill that kid off because he just sort of came out of nowhere. Well, I think I think like. whenever Tyrion suggested that it could could have been Tywin because Tywin and Joffrey butted heads. But I feel like Tywin would Tywin's so about the word legacy that he wouldn't kill Joffrey. He wouldn't risk the wound. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so the, so I kind of weighed that out, but I do see how he could be suspicious because the little one seemed like he was way more of like coachable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, coachable is the word for that. Yeah, it almost seems like from Tywin's perspective, I don't think he would murder his own grandson, even if he knew that I just don't think he'd murder his own grandson because he's wise enough to know that somebody else will do it eventually. Right. And I don't think that, like, not only would he want to destroy his legacy by getting caught doing something like that, he doesn't want to weaken the family name by knowing our kings, our sons, they're just up for assassination. Like, right. We're just easy. Yeah, because, here, that, so. because Tywin's smart enough to know that, like, I, when Tywin gave that look back to Tyrion, like, uh, during the scene where uh joffrey died it wasn't really a look to me of like i think you did it it was a look to me like he's looking out like someone put a hit on our family and i didn't know about it right right so it was like it was a look like dude like my guard is like what do i do now like i don't know what to do tywin's so just wrapped up in like the politics of his family name and stuff i don't think he really has much deep you know he didn't really shed a tear over right his grandson, i mean he literally I got either. right back to business he was right. like he was like well this king he didn't listen to me but let me let me get on this but one. not only did he not shed a tear over his grandson he was willing to basically openly insult his own daughter and essentially his own son basically his entire all of his kids are like pitted against him and in a way or against him and hate him mm-hmm. in some type of way and he just doesn't really seem to care because he just doesn't he's about his business right uh you ready to get into the next episode yeah we probably missed so much guys uh oh wait there was guys we do know that the oh. wall the the wall is about to get attacked by the wildlings they um basically told this little boy ran him off told him like you know they're coming but we we thought this whole time that there was a thousand men at the wall, but we now know there's only a hundred. So right, and then another thing is like, I really thought the Hound was having some sort of character breakthrough there. Right, but me when too. he said that he was gonna do fair work for fair wages, I'm sitting there thinking like the Hound is just too. Yeah, opinion. right. He's I don't old, see that man do, moving a box. He's like, fuck the king's guy. <laughs> Remember, like this man ain't about to work for like if you ain't even gonna work for the king, bro. Like if you ain't it's about my, to go work for if some I'm farmer. standing on it, it's my land. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd like to have seen him not necessarily beat the old man up. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying he probably wouldn't have had to do. But all I that. guess like. You know, there's some people who are just going to be themselves and it might be the hound. He might not yeah. have a moment. And that's I'm okay. loving their dynamic, though. Yeah, like, I, I just, like it, too. I guess Arya is sort of like just the cute little kid on the show. She's just so impressionable. Right. Like anyone like she just keeps getting like passed on to like all the and she goes on these different journeys. Like, and she's so thing. sweethearted. But at yeah. the same time, she's so tough. Yeah. Like she got mad. Know. She got mad about that. But she literally like will do the same thing <laughs> if yeah, necessary. You absolutely. know, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Let's well, get into her moral it. compass doesn't really want. She doesn't want to beat up innocent old men. Right. She's she wanted the fair wages and the fair work, but right. But at the same time, but you she's know, a killer though. Man. Yeah. She ain't too. Sweet. Don't get her. Don't 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 slip up on Arya now. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Oath, oath keeper. keeper. And it has Brienne, Brienne on the thumbnail, Tar. who is the ultimate oath keeper. Let's be real. Hey, can I um, get some of a drink? Please? Of course you can. All right, guys. Oath keeper. Game of Thrones season four, episode four. Housekeeper. My name is Grey Worm. <laughs> I come from the Summer Hills. Isles. Isles. Summer Isles. Oh, she's teaching him to read. She likes them, huh? I am from an island called Nath. Scurry of Laetis. When they took you. When did they take me? 
I was five years old. You remember your home? I remember when they rode us away from shore. What did she say? Five years old? Mm hmm. That sucks. Do you remember your home? Unsullied. Mm -hmm. Always unsullied. Before unsullied, nothing. Dang. That's not true. Kill the masters. Kill the masters. How are the lessons coming? Very well, Your Grace. Act like you're busy when the boss comes in. <laughs> good, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. You'll have to continue later. It's time. They seem to really like her, though. They really believe in her cause. Right. Oh, wow. There it is for real. It's not squatting this time. <clears throat> is that Grey Worm? No, he had the collar on. It is Grey Worm. With the collar on. Oh, he's infiltrating. Oh. So they're about to go in and pretend they're slaves. Maybe to like see if they're gonna. Cause didn't she tell them like to like go against their masters? Right. You think she's gonna? But I don't think they have the courage to go against right. their masters. Yes, he's yeah. trying to convince them. The master champion sucked though. <laughs> he was stupid. Yeah. The boys just pulled out in the. Oh yeah. Use that phrase. Oh, oh they brought him weapons? Him. Yeah. Let's go. So they're going to try to get them to beat the masters. So, or see if they'll do it, maybe. Yeah, because fight for your own freedom, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It means more. Yeah. Go and take it. I like how Grey Worm is doing this, though. What is that? I'm red. Uh oh. Oh my god. Bro, you are just getting straight slaughtered over here. You better climb. Oh my god. Oh. So that's her Misa, city Misa. now. Yeah, there you go. Checkmate. She's got another one. Something needs to happen though, dude. She's just rolling through city through city. But it seems like every time she takes one, her chances of like failure significantly shrink. Crazy. This is the coolest looking city I've ever seen. So does she get to like live there now? Is it her uh, city? Yeah, but she ain't gonna live there. She's got things to do. She's gonna take all the things. She's a conqueror. Are those masters right there? Uh, they have to be. Right, I think they're dressed like them. How many children did the great masters nail to my... Is it 163? 163, Kelly, see. Yes, that was it. Uh-oh. So 163 of them are going to get in replaced? This city is yours. All these people are your subjects now. Sometimes it is better to answer injustice. With justice. Mercy. With mercy, yeah, there you go. I will answer injustice with justice. Uh-oh. Oh, he's starting to see the... Yeah. He's the only one who's seen that outside of the other Targaryen, right? They did it to children, though. That was sickening. It's weird. It's like every individual person didn't go out there and do that. Like, I don't know who the leaders of this city are. I guess everyone who's not a slave is, I guess, culpable. Whoa. That is shot crazy. Who likes them things in the morning? It's a Targaryen flag. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Where's the dragons? Yo, dude, that reminds me of Hitler. Hold on, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, man, but if you guys know history, when Hitler's sitting there giving all of his speeches with his flag behind him, just mm. I don't know, that just gave me some Hitler back. vibes. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of creepy. <coughs> that was the show's way of like showing you kind of what I've been saying, man. That like she needs to slow roll a little bit. Like I understand she's just that, conquering, conquering. Well, the thing is, is like I understand that slavery is like an evil and it's wrong and all that. Yeah. But what the show's trying to say is like that's just the way of the, the way of Essos right now, and she's coming in there and she's just killing everyone, but. A lot of these people are existing. Right, in a they're culture. showing it's thriving and stuff. Well, yeah, but these people didn't just grow up and decide to just suck. I mean, they just grew up in a culture right. where that's what they do. So it's like, do they necessarily deserve to be chained to things? Like, I don't know who chained up kids. Dude, I, if you if you murder kids, bro, like kill you. Like, I don't feel bad for them, but I'm just saying. That's well, they sort just of, own slaves, so that's why she doesn't like them, and that's why I don't like them. That was yeah, exactly. Well, that was the vibe I was getting though. Was that like there's about to be some internal strife in her kid? Mm -hmm. That part was crazy. Are they still training together? Hey, he's not bad. He's got the skill of probably like a 10 year old boy. He could probably fight the new king. Who's <laughs> that? That was me knocking your ass to the dirt with your own hand. You're a rare talent. And you're fighting cripples anyway. <laughs> you learn to fight like a good little boy. 
I bet that thrust through the Mad King's back was pretty as a picture. Did you talk to my brother this way? All the time. <laughs> Worse. Do you think he did it? Oh, he hated the little twat, sure, but who didn't? <laughs> his son. Oh, he was talking his about style. his son. Or murder, for that matter. You want to know for sure, why don't you ask him? You haven't been to see him yet, eh? He doesn't want to piss off Cersei. Mm -hmm. Your brother ever tell you how I came into his service? He stood for him in his trial by combat at the Eyrie. But only when Lady Adam demanded the trial take place that day, you were his first choice. He named you for his champion because he knew you would ride day and night to come fight for him. You're going to fight for him now. Aw, I like that because I hope he does. Tell you the truth, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Four walls, pot to piss in. Four walls and a pot to piss in. He didn't have that, remember? Shit yeah. For months. Is that supposed <laughs> to make me feel better? <laughs> Maybe a bit. Sorry, I didn't come sooner. Complicated. Yes. So how is our sister? How do you think? Yeah, you need Jamie, bro. Stop being smart. You know what's coming. Mm. My trial for regicide. Yes, I know. The whole bloody country thinks I'm guilty. That one of my three judges has wished me dead more times than I can count. And that judge is my father. <laughs> As for Cersei, well, she's probably working on a way to avoid a trial altogether by having me killed. Now that you mention it, she did ask. <laughs> so, should I turn around and close my eyes? Depends. Did you do it? The Kingslayer brothers. <laughs> 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 you really asking if I killed your son? Are you really asking if I'd kill my brother? How can I help you? Well, somebody killed somebody, damn it. Well, you could set me free. <clears throat> no, I can't. Then there's really nothing else to say. What do you want me to do? Kill the guards? I'm the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Sorry, <clears throat> I'd forgotten. I'd hate for you to do something inappropriate. Inappropriate? <clears throat> You're accused of killing the king. Freeing you is treason. Except I didn't do it. Which is why we're having a trial. A trial. If the killer threw himself before the Iron Throne, confessed to his crimes, and gave irrefutable evidence of his guilt, it wouldn't. still blame Cersei. you. She won't rest until my head's on a spike. Not just yours. She's offering a knighthood to whomever finds Sansa Stark. A knighthood. Couldn't have done this. She had more reason than anyone in the Seven Kingdoms. Do you think it's a coincidence she disappeared the same night Joffrey died? No, but she just wanted to put sheep Sansa's stuff in people's killer. bed. <laughs> yeah, she's a prankster, not a killer. Not yet, anyway. Oh my gosh, this poor girl. Where are you taking me? I'm getting married to your aunt Lysa. She's waiting for us at the Eyrie. You'll be safe there. Uncle Littlefinger. Did you kill Joffrey? Did I kill Joffrey? I've been in the Vale for weeks. I know it was you. I know who helped me with this conspiracy. Well, there was Sir Dauntus. You used him to get me out of King's Landing, but you would never trust him to kill the king. Why not? Because you're too smart to trust a drunk. Then perhaps it was your husband. No. How do you know? It just do. You're right. He wasn't involved in Joffrey's death. Okay. But you were. Hmm? Do you remember that lovely necklace Dantas gave you? I don't suppose you noticed that a stone was missing after the feast. Hmm? They took the stone and dropped it in? Who did? I don't understand. The Lannisters gave you wealth, power. Joffrey made you the Lord of Harrenhal. A man with no motive is a man no one suspects. Always keep your foes confused. If they don't know who you are or what you want, they can't know what you plan to do next. I don't believe you. If they catch you, they'll put your head on a spike just like my father's. You'd risk that just to confuse them. So many men, they risk so little. They spend their lives avoiding danger, then they die. I'd risk everything to get what I want. And what do you want? Everything. I would put my elbow in my his forehead if that man talked to me like that, because I'm so tired of his riddles. I know. <laughs> like, oh my God. Boy with a crown on his head. He's not a reliable ally. And who could trust a friend like that? Who could trust you? I don't want friends like me. My new friends are predictable, very reasonable people. As for what happened to Joffrey, well, that was something my new friends wanted very badly. Who's Nothing your new like friend? A thoughtful gift to make a new friendship grow strong. They didn't do it, did they? When? Leave me alone here with these people. The time has come, my dear. There's nothing more tedious than a trial. They said Joffrey Except was bad for their checkbook. Gardens. If I have to take one more leisurely stroll through these gardens, I'll fling myself from the cliffs. <laughs> 
Have you been to see Tommen yet? No. Have they even agreed to the match? No one tells me anything. Percy may be vicious, but she's not stupid. She'll turn the boy against you as soon as she can. And by the time you're married, it'll be too late. Oh, are they talking about that little boy? Yeah, she's trying to get her to seduce that little boy. That morning, her dear departed boy. Accusing her brother of his murder, which he didn't commit. Well, he could have done. Oh, he could have done, but he didn't. You don't know, grandmother. But I do know. So don't she did it. You marry that beast. <gasps> I don't understand. Who... Don't you worry yourself about all that. You just do what needs to be done. Oh, wow. I don't know, man. That's risky. She's playing a lot of games. She doesn't really want her to know because that's just a liability. Right, absolutely. Wow. Ugh, that's weird. They want her to go off. mess with that little boy. That's strange. They just want her to be queen, remember? Yeah. Very nice. A lot of wildlings fight with a weapon in each hand. First thing you want to do... I feel like do, if I had to date four kings to become queen, I wouldn't really feel like I deserved it, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in their eyes, it's like a triumph, though. Right. You struggling, you went up the mountain, you went up the hill. <laughs> Let's see what you can do. Oh, he joined it. Hold it, you just the little boy. I can fight. That poor little boy yeah, don't need to join sure. that. Well, he's gonna have to fight because the wildlings are coming. I was. I believe you. <laughs> we'll go hunting for rabbits one day. Right now, watch and learn. You two, take it slow. Try and disarm each other. Oh, you see him? Look at him. Lock. Yeah. Is he infiltrating? <laughs> Oh yeah, Vladimir Bolton sent him. You know how to fight. Wouldn't have learned anything that way. What do you think you're doing? Grand's a ranger. You're a steward. Maybe you forgot that while you were off with your wildling bitch. Someone has to train them. And that someone isn't you. Go find a chamber pot to empty. Go on, do it. You traitor's bastard. Give me an excuse. Norman's not here to protect you now. Yeah, he's not there to protect you from John. I bet he's like, man, I was free when I was a wildling for a few days. Doesn't it feel like the structure of this place is sort of falling apart a little bit? That thing with, who was it, Krauster? That thing was sort of like, like... The breaking? Yeah, it seemed like it, right? Well, you think I care if they like me? Because We're more might. For now, can't be acting commander forever. There will be a choosing. You might reconsider his request to march on Crastus. Let the mutineers take care of Snow. Or you might be taking orders from him the rest of your life. Oh, wow. Hey, they're trying to play King's Landing over here. Well, they want them to go try to take back Craster's old place and get John killed mm -hmm. in the process. The bastard, eh? Took you for Highborn. My father was Highborn. My mother wasn't. Name's Locke. John Snow. That foreshadowing of Jamie's hand. And also he needed to know he needed to know that was Jon Snow. Because he needs him. Wanted yeah. to do my part for the safety of the realm. I was game warden in the Stormlands. Fed a prize partridge to me hungry kids. I was stupid enough to get caught. Chose the wall over losing my hand. Figured I wouldn't have to suck up to any highborn cunts here. <laughs> Just one. Guess I was wrong. That was like the most charming Locke's ever been. Yeah, because he's lying. I know. Because <laughs> he sucked. Searchy's on that wine. Some truths are about to start coming out. Mm-hmm. I don't see her marrying Loras for the record, y'all. Your Grace, how formal of you. How many King's Guards are posted outside Tommen's door? Boros is on duty tonight. Tomorrow, I believe. So yeah. one. You have one man guarding the future king. I promise you, Tommen's safe. We're protecting him. The way you protected Joffrey. Oh. Why did Catelyn Stark set you free? I've been wondering for months. Ever since that great cow brought you back to the capital. Jealous. Why did she set you free? You know why? She'd hoped I'd send her daughters back to her. She hoped, or did you promise? I Does she not really believe him, or is she just being cruel? I don't know, man. She's just... She made a sacred vow to the enemy. I wanted to get back to you. Should I have told her to fuck off? <laughs> you didn't mean it then. You have no loyalty to Catelyn Stark. I know you went to see Tyrion. That creature who murdered our son. That creature who's your brother. I had to see him. He didn't do it, Cersei. You've always pitied him. Oh, she hates you now, Jamie. Poor little brother. Abused by the world, despised by his father and sister. Kill us all if he could. I want four men at Tommen's door day and night. That will be all, Lord Commander. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she might not be the queen, but she's the queen of petty boy. Never met anything <clears throat> like it. I'm scared for this little boy because everyone in the whole Seven Kingdoms wants him dead probably to take his spot. Or Stannis is about to come in there. Yeah. Is that Joffrey's old room? Oh, he has to sleep in Joffrey's room. Sir Pounce? Sir Pounce. <laughs> oh, here we go. King's God. I don't think you're supposed to be here. Mother doesn't allow me to have visitors at night. I'm not a visitor, Your Grace. Word has it I'm to be your bride. Did you know that people in arranged marriages often never meet until their wedding day? Before we decide to spend our lives together, we 
ought to get to know one another, don't you think? Yes, but if my mother found It can be our secret. Hmm? If we're going to be man and wife, we'll have a few secrets from her, I hope. Tell me a secret. <laughs> Oh, is that Sir Pounce? Hello, and you a proper fellow. That's Sir Pounce. <laughs> That's so cute. That's a cute Very name. Handsome. Joffrey didn't like him. He threatened to skin him alive and mix his innards up in my food. That's our Joffrey. Miss that guy. You don't strike me as cruel. I don't think I am. That's a relief. Because you know what happens when we marry. We say our vows in front of the High Septon. And after the ceremony, this <laughs> When we marry, work. I become yours. Forever. It's getting late. He's like, that's scary because you keep finding a new man. They keep dying. Yeah, you're going to have me dead six feet Can under. Can I visit you again? <laughs> he said, yeah, of course you can. All right, then. Remember our little secret. I got a feeling that's about to backfire terribly. Yeah, but being him, though, he probably just really doesn't know. He's just a little boy. He ain't that little. <laughs> he's what young. You How old do you think he is? 12? She's easy to, to get him if he's so young. So Jamie Lannister. Knighted and named to the King's Guard in his 16th year. The sack of King's Landing murdered his king, Ares II, thereafter known as the Kingslayer. It's the duty of the Lord Commander to fill those pages, and there's still room left on mine. I hope Cersei doesn't know Brienne's there, because you know she's. Yeah, she'll get pissed. Yeah. Is that a lion? That's cool. Valyrian steel. Hmm. I feel like that's like vibranium, don't you? They're like obsessed with it. Yeah. I can't what? Let's be forged from Ned Stark's sword. You'll use it to defend Ned Stark's daughter. Crazy as hell, he gave his sword Stark away. To return the Stark goes to their mother. Lady Stark's dead. Gaia's probably dead too, but there's still a chance to find Sansa and get her somewhere safe. Got something else for you. Wow. That was so crazy. I love that. I love that. I love that. Even though you just did that weird Whoa. thing last episode. Yeah, Jamie, stay with her. Stop going to mess with your sister. That is cool. I hope I got your measurements right. I'll find her for Lady Catelyn and for you. This is not getting me emotional for some reason. I almost forgot. I have one more gift. Why? Because she's the only person in the show who actually cares about Jamie in any type of way? No, it's just like... I don't need a squire. Oh. <laughs> He'll slow me down. My brother owes him a debt. He's not safe here. He'll be keeping him from harm. The chivalry. I won't slow you down, sir. Sir. Bro. <laughs> My lady, I, I promise I'll serve you well. He's a good lad. Look at along. Compliments of Lord Tyrion. His axe from the Black Water. Aww. Everyone giving each other weapons. What are you waiting for? A kiss? <laughs> Ready the lady's horse. They say the best souls of names. Any ideas? It's the name of the episode. What was it? Mm. Was it Oathbreaker or something? Oathkeeper. 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 Not Oathbreaker. Oh, geez, <laughs> Jamie. My bad. Oathkeeper. That was a good deed done by him. Yeah, that's such a good like change of pace for Jamie because he's usually the Kingslayer, now he's the Oathkeeper. Aw, so she's leaving? That sucks, man. It's good though, I think she's safer that way. Is Jamie realizing he wants to go hop under the covers with Brienne right now? <laughs> wow, he kept his oath, but he kept his oath through somebody and I appreciate that. Yeah. And Pod's really loyal, so they're just gonna be like two she loyal buddies. Yeah. She wasn't safe here. She's not safe out there. I should have known. You told us they were wildlings south of the wall. If they raid in the smaller villages, Molestown could be next. Well, Castle Black could be next. If we have orders, no one's to leave the castle. I remember when you disobeyed orders and rode south to help Rob. And I remember who came after me and brought me home. We right. had the boys, they jumped them. You got clothesline, though. We didn't forget that. Sound, believe me. When you told me about Bran going beyond the wall, all I could think about was getting my strength back so I could go and find him. I wish I could have convinced him to come back with me. I tried. Really, I did. How fast could they travel? A crippled boy being pulled on a sledge by a simpleton. <laughs> They'd pass wildling villages. They could try and find shelter at one of them. Every village or sheltered place will be deserted. Crasters? You think Bran might have found... No. I don't mean to interrupt. Thorn wants to see you. Why does he get to tell All him right, that? Crasters keep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, who are you? His new rat? I won't order anyone to go with you. Volunteers only. Thank you, Sir Alistair. So he's thinking, like, we'll let all the dumb ones go. Who gets themselves killed? <clears throat> Brothers. Yeah, speak up, John. No. <laughs> the respect. I'm going beyond the wall to crash this keep. I'm going to capture the mutineers hold up there or kill them. I'm asking for volunteers to come with me. There's 60 miles of wilderness between here and Craster's. The Mance Raider has an army bearing down on us. 
But we have to do this. Our survival may depend on us getting to these mutineers before Mance does. They know the wall. They know our defenses. If Mance learns what they know, we're lost. But if that's not enough, then consider this. If the Night's Watch are truly brothers, then Lord Commander Mormon was our father. And he was betrayed by his own men, stabbed in the back by cowards. He deserved far better. All we can give him now is justice. Who will join me? Somebody. Anybody. I know, please. Well, obviously, your best friend's gonna join you. That's Ren and Ed. They were just chained up and they still mm -hmm. said, yeah. And that's uh, the slash. Dang, John, you got some respect over there. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you. You stay back with these guys. You're a snake. Can't let a recruit come north of the wall. Let me say my vows. If it's a fight you're heading for, then you need men who know how. <laughs> Thank you, brothers. What's up with that guy, man? Who, Locke? Yeah, what's he gonna do? I don't know, man. Probably betray him. What a villain. Or a pirate. Carl Tanner from Gin Alley. Drinking wine from the skull of Gior. Fucking Mormon. Crazy. I'm telling Jorah on you. So he's just rolling in it, huh? What a weird personality. Go outside and feed the beast. We should kill that thing. You look like a fucking ball sack. They sound like middle schoolers fighting. Oh, man. How much they pay me to kill a man in King's Landing? Seven silvers. They told me a man's name and that man never saw daylight again. I haven't lost a fight since I was nine. Maybe it's time, do you think? Hey, maybe you're the man. Yeah, he might just be. I wouldn't stand a chance. None of us would. I was a fucking legend, Ginelli. A fucking legend. I would take any night, any night, any time. They're brainwashed. What the fuck is that? Craster's last child, a boy. What am I supposed to do with him? What did Craster do with him? Kill him before they could grow up and do the same to him. Don't need another mouth to feed. Hand him over. He didn't kill them. He offered them. To who? To the gods. The White Walkers. Maybe I'd feel obligated if I was in his shoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> He'd be like, a gift to the gods. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shoot. It worked for him. Just give the walkers what they want. Rust is headed that way. Oh, he has to do it? I wouldn't be able to It'd be the adventure of Ras and his new son. Yeah, I'd be booking south. And where would you even go, you know? I'm giving a gift to the gods. Where am I giving it? Do I throw it in the sky? Draw some instructions. Poor Nugget. And it's cold out there. Man, he tried to keep him warm. But he still left him. Mm. Imagine if you were that baby, though, and you got to be on Game of Thrones. No one would believe you. Even if you pulled out a baby picture and was like, see, it's me. <laughs> that was me, y'all. <laughs> That's the beast that they're feeding. You thirsty? He's like, no, I can drink snow. How about that? Yeah, he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, is Ghost mad because it's it, it knows it senses like a White Walker's coming? Remember? Uh oh. Because they, he left that baby out. I don't. He didn't seem far from it. Uh, hold up. They're close. Do you hear that? Are they gonna go rescue it? I wish the wolf could sense the other wolf. That's a baby. It's coming. I'm going out there. No, we need to stay together. I'm going. Oh, he's about to go save it. He's about to go warg. Oh, wow. Did you see the eyes of the wolf? Mm -hmm. That's so sick. Dang, maybe falling really was important for him. Never really thought of it like that. <gasps> he sees it. <gasps> Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. You gotta go save him. Bang, what happened? It's summer. He's hurt. They caught him in a trap. Who? Go help him. They have ghosts. Free ghost. Free ghost. They're nine to it. Look. John was here, why would they put his wolf in a cage? There might have been night's watch once, not anymore. We're not safe here, we need to go. No. Oh, they made it to Man. Craster's. We need to go now. I'm not leaving without Summer. Yeah, Summer's probably pissed. Like, damn it, where the cage was. You walked me right into a trap. Inside the keep. If I'm not back soon, we'll meet at the- Hold on. 
What? Where are we? John's gonna pull up and save him though. I've been waiting on that. Uh, I've been waiting on them to wait for some reason. No! Oh, hold on. If I was your size, I'd be king of the fucking world. But he like can't but it like can't say anything really. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm not dying to someone named Carl today, boys. Get out of here. Fine leather. You know, wildly important. Highborn. I like Joffrey Baratheon. <laughs> I don't know what I would say. How dare you? Where I come from, coming like me, slaps a little lord like you. Lose me right hand. Long way from home, aren't we? And the two of you, fancy looking folks. North of the wall, creeping through the woods. Isn't that a bit odd? So you haven't played this game before. I bought an hostage. That's valuable. Three of them. It's a lot of mouths to feed. Oh yeah, he hates. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with him? Call me. He hates Highborns. A Brandon Stark. A Brandon Stark of Winterfell. It's Jon Snow's brother. What's wrong with him? I thought this was gonna be another boring day. Oh man, you messed up right there. I don't know what's wrong with him. I was like, maybe he's acting to get out of it, but he was definitely not acting. I was like, maybe it has something to do with the warding. You know? Well, he has different powers. Remember, he can tell like what's gonna happen. Right. Well, yeah, his isn't called warding. What is this called? He just got powers. He is this. I want to say the oversight, but I think I'm wrong. Oh, he took the baby. That poor baby. Why is it surprisingly calm? A dead horse. This place was scary, bro. So we're getting answers on what they're doing with those children now. I hope so. Oh, so cute too. Look at the little baby. Little nug. I feel like if I was in the baby shoes, I'll be wilding. What are they about to do? Is that the boss? <gasps> Changed it into whatever the heck that thing's called. Was that the boss, the main guy? We we haven't seen him before, have we? Yeah. No, he had a crown on his head, like made out of his skin. Guys, that episode was nuts, man. So we started out and, well, I guess the first thing that happened when we started out was we saw, I forget the lady's name, but she was teaching Grey Worm how to- It's like Melisandre, but it's not. Right, something like that. So there's something definitely Melissa. going on there. Is no. that her name, Melissa? Uh, she was helping Grey Worm out. And the next thing you know, man, Daenerys took, takes another city, so. She takes Marine. Yeah, she takes Marine. And that was so cool how they come in there right. and they infiltrate and they bring all the weapons. And then, you know, the, what are they called? The masters. The masters go and they see all the writing on the wall. And then that guy looks and everyone just around. That'd right. be so scary. Because, you know, like, because oh. whenever um, Khaleesi took over the um, Unsullied, she said, like, you guys, she can't make you guys free. You have to take it. Basically, yeah. And, and that's then, what they did themselves. Khaleesi's big move was she, she basically, she secured the city, she got her army, and she won. But then after she won, she decided to take everyone else who wasn't a slave. So basically, everyone in that society who wasn't a slave, it looked like there was a small debate happening on the screen. Was she doing the right thing? Was she not? Mm -hmm. It's very easy to say that she is, man, because, you know, they did that to the kids. And, you know, that's terrible. But at the same time, like I was saying, man, these people just happen to, like, live in Essos. And over in Essos, that's just the way the society structured. So... It's almost like they're being punished for just partaking in society in mm -hmm. a way. So it's, just, it's very weird. I don't know, man. I don't know what's with her. But I want to use a quote that Selma used when he said, when he said that um, she said something, you serve just injustice with justice. And he said to serve injustice with mercy. Yeah. Yeah. So that was like, and she was like, like, nah, we ain't doing right. that. We ain't taking yeah. no mercy over here. Yeah. We'll see what's up with that. Um, not too much indulging needs to be explained to that. Jamie and Bronn are still, they're still Training, working together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Bronn basically tells Jamie, hey, you should go just like hear what Tyrion has to say to see if like what you believe. Right. So, so Jamie actually does. And um, it turns out that he believes Tyrion. Yeah. He believes Tyrion. And Jamie also knows that Cersei is just losing it, right? Which might have something to do with why he did what he did in the previous episode. Mm -hmm. Was because maybe in a way, like, he's just trying to bring her back down to Earth. Like, mm -hmm. just trying to make her, like, remember. Which, I, yeah, I don't understand that personally, but. Which I'm just she's to also project. kind of slipping into alcoholism, I think, because she's right, kind yeah. of turning wine to all her problems. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we saw Littlefinger with Sansa. 
And he was saying that he'll risk anything to get what he wants. So he speaks a lot of mysteries to me, a lot of riddles. And he says he wants everything, which we have no idea what everything is in his right. terms. It's like he likes to just throw it out there like that. So that way in the future, if he decides he wants more, like he's already got it all covered. It's already he there. Just wants yeah. everything. The word yeah. everything. And he also doesn't want to give away his plans too much. I think he intentionally tries to like, you know, stay very vague. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we saw that with little finger. And then the craziest part of the episode to me was what's her name again baby elena elena right elena was talking to her granddaughter and she said something very powerful she goes you didn't think i let you marry that monster and it seems like to me man she was collaborating with Littlefinger behind the scenes right she kind of admitted to it right there that she did it but she doesn't want marjorie to really question how it was done or anything like that because she doesn't well, the less wanna, you know the better right she right. doesn't want to put her at, uh, at like risk here right but it seems like that what she said pretty much makes it seem like she did it now how she executed it i have no idea hopefully we know more about that and then Locke joins the night's watch which is crazy because you're sitting there looking at a character that I never thought was about to come across freaking Jon Snow. And they say, right. you know, he's sitting there apparently manipulating him. It, it seems like he's obviously infiltrating, trying to get some information. Right. From because you remember he gets a hundred uh, thousand acres in a, like, yeah. I don't know, a night ship or something Absolutely. like that. Um, so, yeah, he's um, doing a good job so far. Yeah. He's getting in there. And then there was obviously the very powerful scene where Cersei and Jamie were talking. And it's just very obvious, man, that. Whatever was going on between Jamie and Cersei, that just really appears to be dead. Cersei right. is very angry right now. And, you know, I thought Jamie would have more of an emotional response too, but. Well, you know seems- what? You know what it brings me back to? So there's a powerful scene where Cersei told some, I think Cersei told Sansa or somebody, whenever she was talking about her babies dying, that, um, Jamie was the only person there for her. And then it seems like when Joffrey died, Jamie wasn't really like there for her. <laughs> Well, yeah, but that's because she had just played all of her cards before. She basically told Jamie how she felt about him before that even happened. Jamie's just really, I think Jamie is someone who seems to be going through like a crisis internally because right. he's sort of losing his identity in every source of the way. So Jamie yes. is a character that was like really sure of himself. And it turns out maybe he did have all these like underlying insecurities and stuff, but he was a character that we've seen at the highest highs. You know, he was so brass that he was going to like literally bang his sister like in almost like a risky way you know what i'm saying do you get what i'm trying to say mm-hmm. he used to be so arrogant and now he is someone who just seems to i don't know how that's gonna happen basically man because i got a feeling that he's gonna have terry inside and it might cost him his head so right. tywin brought the dorn people back to the fold by putting Oberyn on the either giving him a council position or just making him a judge in Tyrion's uh trial i'm not really sure which one is like more important yeah why did he do all that though i think he did i think he did it for the army yeah i think he did it i think he did it because dorn kind of you know how dorn is he they've kind of like done this whole thing where they're painting dorn is just like not like the rest of the of king's landing and all of it like they're really like untraditional bastards are celebrated there and it's just different there so bringing him on i feel like is going to cause a lot of problems diplomatically yeah yeah and I think that's an interesting little twist that happened in that episode, too, because um, also he doesn't really like the Lannisters. So is he going to care if Tyrion dies? Probably not. Probably not. He probably wants him to die. Right. I mean, that's just another Lannister dead. Right. His sister, his sister got killed by the Lannister. So why not him? Right. What was the last thing that happened? Oh, we didn't even say. So Jamie, um, Jamie also upheld his oath in this episode by giving Brienne his sword, which she named... Oathkeeper. Oathkeeper. Which was a great little nod to Jamie. Yes, that was perfect. He gets so, like, ran over, you know, rightfully so. He deserved it. But they do call him the Kingslayer. So it's nice to just have something he's associated with be positive. Right. In some type of way for his honor. A thousand percent agree with yeah. that. Yeah. But I guess the cool part of, about this episode also was we can we kind of got a little glimpse of what happens across his babies. Yeah. So um, I don't they really do exactly know. exactly what I think they would do to him. They bring him. They lay him on an altar. And then whoever's their leader, I guess, he comes and he turns them into what they are. Yeah, but do they turn... Just building that army. Do they turn into... Or do they, like, grow up? Uh, I'd assume they do, man, or we're going to see a bunch of little infant babies running around with weapons, stab <laughs> people, and I don't think we're going to see that in the show. So right. They probably do grow up in So maybe sense. they, like, train them. Maybe, maybe the, that's, like, the the like generals or something so you like train them from when you're a baby by giving getting them from craster right that sucks to be craster maybe there's like a certain like breed of them that's like babies yeah i don't know guys thank you so much for the support man uh sorry i've been under the weather in this episode like i said in the beginning this october did get me sick sorry about that dude i'm like sick as a dog but like i said i'm like on 
I'm just on medicine, right? I doubled up the medicine dose to try to get through this. And it's not that I can't get through it, dude. I mean, I could do this all day sick. No problem at all. Uh, but it's uncomfortable for you guys to yeah, hear. Yeah, it's uncomfortable for you. Like, I don't want you guys to have to hear me, like... Dying. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Because when, so. I, when I cough a lot, I feel really guilty because it's... Right. Not because, like, I'm coughing. Because you could cough at work, yeah. You think of it like that. You could cough at work, but you can't cough at work when it disturbs everyone else. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. Like, and that would disturb you guys. That's just uh, not right. And just for Patreon, man, we, we actually planned on getting so much more out this week. But she's been sick, and now I'm sick. And, and like she said, we definitely don't mind getting it out. But, um... <coughs> dude, Sorry, just, that was unplanned. Yeah, like right now it's like, and you guys probably know, but it's eight, <coughs> eight forty p.m. And like when the sun goes down, dude, like I just start coughing and it just starts to hit me so much worse. So. And as we've told you, we've been having heat problems. So like our heat guy came yesterday, and he has to come back again. So we have to like, you know, we have to be in and out with that. So we were like, we'll film in the daytime, but we can't because our heat's been, our heat guy's been in here. So. Yeah, and he's, when you say he's coming tomorrow? Oh yeah, he's coming tomorrow. He, yeah. And he has to come tomorrow too, so. To replace heat trips, don't know what that means. Yeah, um, I don't think that has anything to do with why I'm sick. I think it's just you, 100%. Yeah, it was me, but I'm just saying we're also dealing with that, so. Right, um, so yeah, sorry about that, man. I know I blew my nose a lot and all that, but just wanted to let you guys know that we're gonna get through it and we are gonna be back. So remember, we got Gladiator coming, I think, yeah. on the channel, and then we got more Game of Thrones, and we wanted to record more, but dude, I really hate to put that stuff out sick. Cause you know, you put it out once in a lifetime and that's someone's favorite movie and then they're gonna watch it and I'm gonna be sick. And, and then also new people them. are gonna come in, they're gonna be like, oh, a reaction, let's click it. Gladiator, and then the we're sounding like, dude, I'm a, you're like, oh, that's awesome. So sorry if I seemed a little flat or uninterested in the episode. And Gladiator Definitely is my dad's just... favorite movie, you guys. So we're excited to do that one because when I asked him, I was like, dad, what movie do you want us to do? He's like Apocalypto, Gladiator. Yeah, but no, the he Patriot. said Gladiator first with no hesitation. Yeah, that and Apocalypto is his favorite. Yeah, Apocalypto, he loves it so we'll check that one out too but we're just excited to gladiator because it's different all right guys thank you so much man i'm having man i'm having a freaking journey on this i can't believe we are halfway through the season almost mm -hmm. insane all right we'll see y'all tomorrow peace